Hello, hello, hello again, and my name is Helmut Meshkulanis, as always, and of course, welcome to another tutorial of hostmaria.com. And today, and today I'll be explaining how to add a subdomain. I'll be showing that in real time, and I will explain a few other things as well. So let us get started. First things first, of course, this tutorial is for our cloud users. If you have a VPS, or dedicated server with us, then this is not a tutorial for you. This is for our cloud servers and uh, for cloud hosting users. And cloud hosting is offered, of course, in partnership with 20i Data Center. OK, let us dig in. So first things first, let us check the domain name. So what domain names do we have? So we have one domain name, un-s.com. OK, let's go back. So. And we are scrolling down. We are looking for that main section called domain names. Up here, there will be three subsections, domains, subdomains, and manage DNS. Domains is a place where you add more domain names. Subdomains is where you create subdomains. And manage DNS, well, we'll talk about that in a different tutorial. Let us go to subdomains. Opening now, opening now. And here we can see very, very simple thing. Let us say, let us say the subdomain will be, let us say photos. Photos. Let's say maybe maybe you want to put up a nice, nice, nice photo site for your for your website and and place it in photos.un.r-s.com. If you have more domains, if you have added more domains, just click here, either here or in the middle and you will see an option of domain names you can choose from. So we are creating subdomain photos-photos.un-s.com. Sorry, it is a bit late. One thing before we proceed, I do not advise to hold, uh, to put your subdomains in public HTML. Please leave public HTML only, only for your primary domain name. So what I would suggest you, delete public HTML. And you would say that the document root or the root where all the files are located is photos. And it will be on the same level as, as public HTML. So you do not have to create this, uh, this folder. It will create, the system will create a folder itself automatically. So what we do, so we chose a name, we chose a domain, we chose a document root, a place where all the files will be located. Again, not in, in public HTML. There are way too many reasons why not to do that. Security, complexity, lots of lots of things. Just believe my experience. Do not <laughs> store them in public HTML. Although you could. And click, click, create subdomain. And now the system is adding a new subdomain. Let us see. OK. The new subdomain is added, and the address will be photos.un-s, in our case, .com. And what we do, let us, let us check. Let us check the system. File manager. We're going in, and we can see, yes, the folder photos has been created. We can, so we can go inside there, and the folder is empty. So everything is good. It is ready for one-click installs. That's it, and that was a short short and simple tutorial on how to create your subdomain at stackcp.com dashboard thank you and see you at another hostmaria.com um, tutorial and by the way if you have any questions or you need assistance just go to the footer of our website there is a link open uh, open a support ticket and we will help you out with your task or with your problem have a good night or have a good day. It is really late up here today. Good night. Bye.